This is MFR Off-Road Rider back with another video. I'm down at the river bar down by the old racetracks. Uh, we've gotten a lot of rain uh, this past week or so and uh, a lot of mud and water. So yeah, let's go check it out on the Frigo DK200 e-bike. Yeah, let's go check it out. Let's go find some mud and stuff to go through here. Find some trails. I don't know how. Whoa. Got some new pedals on the DK200, so makes it a little more comfortable uh, standing up, a little more uh, better platform. So that's kind of nice. Ran into a guy down here who has a 250L rally. He was down here riding. I talked to him and gave him a sticker and a wristband so he can check out my channel. He rides around here. He used to ride motocross and stuff. So yeah, that's kind of cool. I'd like to thank all my viewers and subscribers for watching my videos give me thumbs ups all the positive comments much appreciated i'm up to 726 subscribers and uh this will be my 230th video i haven't really uh tried much mud so yeah let's see if how how the e-bike handles the mud it's handled everything else real well Just want to remind everybody I did start a patreon page uh, it's in my on the community page of my channel if you want to check it out just doing it just for uh, just to see if there's any interest it's not that big a deal I'd rather have the subscribers but I figured I, I went on patreon and I could set up my account so I went ahead and did that <laughs> got sideways oh yeah that was fun. Got a little crossed up there. Almost went into a rut, but uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, this bike lacks this rear suspension, has none, but like I said, with the softer seat, and uh, if you just stand up on it as you're going across the real rough stuff, it's not too bad. Cruises right over it. I still haven't rode. To rode the e-bike till I killed the battery yet uh, the farthest I've ridden it got down to two two bars and uh, that was it that's as far as it, it's gotten I haven't ran it completely dead so but like I said 40 miles is quite a ways to ride an e-bike you know like unless you're on the highway or a road or something I mean it seems like it's a long way to me it does anyway uh oh got some mud got some puddles both sides let's go this way see how it handles the mud over here oh yikes oh yikes oh there we go no problem no problem up around here yeah we definitely got some rain can definitely tell oh boy let's see what we can do here let's go this way uh, yeah oh <laughs> must stay out of the deep mud puddles try to anyway Oh boy, got some more. Oh boy, here we go. See if she holds. Like I said, there's not a lot of not a lot of uh, knobs on these tires, so so it won't really hold a deep rut. You're gonna you're gonna end up falling into it. But uh oh, tree down. Yikes! Yikesy. That's a big tree. 
Oh, I got some stumps that way. Uh-oh. Now I'm in a corner here. Let's go up here. I'll just walk it up. There we go. There we go. That's the nice thing about this bike being light. You can do stuff like that. Which is cool. Cross rutted. Oh, let's go high. Oh yeah. Yes we are. Let's go over here. Whoa. Whoa. Barely made it. Here we go. If you guys are interested in uh, different uh, e-bikes, you should check out uh, David Brand New is his YouTube channel. He does a lot of reviews on e-bikes. Mostly a lot of the electric, the folding e-bikes, but he does a variety of e-bikes. He just reviews them, tests them, does speed tests, uh, hill climbs, stuff like that. It's kind of cool, you know, you get a good idea of how how the bikes perform and stuff which is cool yeah it was like 35 degrees this morning when I got up getting pretty chilly but uh, I got heated gloves and stuff so I'll be able to stay pretty warm I don't I don't stop riding and making videos just because it's cold I just bundle up and go for it the rain is another story though because it's hard to motor vlog when it's raining and keeping your your all your electronics dry, your GoPro and your your mic and all that stuff. Uh, it's possible you can do it, but I haven't quite made a setup that's completely waterproof yet. But I'm thinking about doing it. I have a I have a, a waterproof case that I'm thinking about maybe drilling a hole in the back so I can plug the mic in and then sealing it up with. Uh, with uh, silicone or something you know and uh, maybe wrapping the the connections for the battery or the the mic plugs and uh, see if that'll work I mean you can't stop the raindrops from you know clouding up the lens but that's not that big a deal you just wipe it off once in a while keep rolling now I'm in the sand Getting it. Woohoo! This thing is fun. Fun factor. Got a strong fun factor. Should try that. Should try that hill climb. Uh, you know, can't get a good run up because there's big mud puddle there <laughs> getting it oh oh getting it Yikes! Woohoo! Oh! The rough! Ho oh. ho! Oh boy! That was rough! A little rough there! Here we go. Yeah, this bike's a lot of fun. It's fun on road, but I think it's even funner off. Gravel, dirt, mud, sand, it's great. It's awesome. Like I said, this is without any rear suspension. That is a downfall of it, but 
I can live with that because the price is the price is decent. So if you get a chance to check one out. Frigo DK two hundred. See if we can make it up here. Nope. Nope. Can't do it. I can walk it up. <laughs> the little uh with the little assist of the throttle. Oh gosh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Almost a crash. I better bail. Walk it up. Lost my momentum. Okay, now I'm up on top. See what we can find up here. Like I said, if you had a bigger run up, you probably could make it. Ooh, that's pretty steep. Now we're heading towards the, the old racetrack. Oh boy, got some big ruts here. Definitely pick your line here. Definitely. Up and over and around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> wash out. Front tire wash out because I got mud caked up. Mud caked. Oh, I don't want my mirror too. I was wondering when that was gonna happen. <laughs> oh, cross rut. I thought that might happen because of the, oh, oh, oh Lord. I'm gonna have to take it slow through here. With all the mud and all the ruts. <laughs> oh boy. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to take a side trail. Try to stay out of the deep stuff. There we go, we're almost through. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's see if I can keep up on top of this. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah, more mud puddles. <laughs> We'll just go around. That's all we got to do. Just go around them. There we are. There it is. Uh-oh. 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 Woo-hoo. Made it. <laughs> Made it through there. Let's go this way. Get back. Up here where the quads are. Not too much mud build up yet. That's the bad thing about the fender. The fender is so close to the tire that if you get into that sticky clay mud, you probably uh, clog up your fender and then you, it's going to lock up your front tire. Be nice to have a high, higher fender. So that wouldn't happen. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I haven't done it yet. Oh yikes. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Up and over. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, buddy. Gets a little bit harder packed out uh, out on the track here. Seems like it's pretty packed down. It's not a lot as not as many puddles and stuff, but there is some kind of jumps or whoops or something. Somebody made a big berm right there. That's kind of cool. So here's this is an actual part of the old track, I think. Let's go check it out. Tabletop. Oh yeah. Oh, 
around the corner. Oh, big mud puddle. There we go. Through that, no problem. Skirt that mud puddle. Oh, almost lost the front end again. <laughs> so it happens with the small knobby tires, but they're not bad for stock. You know, it'd be nice to have a little bit more aggressive knobbies on these, but can't have everything for the price, you know. Here's some some big whoops. Big rocky turn there. There's all kind of trails right on out here. As long as I don't pop my tire. That's my main concern because I haven't put slick uh, I haven't put any uh, green slime in it yet so I don't want to get a flat tire so hopefully I won't uh oh here's a, oh boy through the water through the water again let's go this way I got something in my ear Dang it. Bug or something. I don't know. Looks like some four wheelers playing around over here. Oh boy. Looks like a low spot here. Big swamp, big swamp. make my own trail or find an old beaten path or something oh that looks nasty there let's go follow this trail here somebody made one right here get back to the track back to the tracks it was a deer trail or something looks like maybe it's like deer were bedding down here my own trails here that was a trail there could have taken that one we'll get back to the main road here yeah back to the tracks like I said I've been pretty solid other than that one front tire wash out in the mud but that'll ha that's gonna happen that's why you don't want to hit the deep ruts or nothing but it definitely suck you in or you lose traction not enough side knobs whoa over there you go there it is oh almost took the wrong wrong path that time yeah I put a an extension on the GoPro so that you be seeing you it's got a better view I think I hope my with the stock mount without the extender on it uh, the camera was pointed down a lot more than I wanted it to I wanted it out more look out in front so hopefully this the view is a little bit better now that I've modified the the GoPro mount so now I have a, a GoPro set up for, for my e-bike and then I have one for my motorcycle. So, yeah. Oh, yikes. Oh, boy. I wonder if I can squeak by that. That looks fun. That looks fun. There we go. 
Not a problem. Not a problem. Not too bad. You just gotta pick your line and go slow. Here we go. Picking my line. Uh, you gotta make sure you stick to it. One wrong move and you're down in the dirt, down in the mud, in the water. Oh boy, I should have taken that line. Uh oh. Let's go back this way and go slow. There's looks like there's some slick mud here. As long as I keep straight, I think it'll be fine. Yep, we did it. Yeehaw. Oh yikes. Oh yikes. Oh yikes. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this another off-road on the Frigo DK200 e-bike. It's a nice day down at the river bar, and, uh, yeah, only one little slip-up. So, yeah, hit that like, subscribe, and that notification bell for the release of my next video, which is Saturday or Sunday. And uh, I'd like to thank all my viewers and subscribers for watching my videos. Much appreciated. This is MFR Off-Road Rider. See you on the next one. Later.